Hello team, this is Raphael doing a quick video on how to set up Google Analytics. Um, well, an account's already been set up. How to grab the code, put it into lead pages, and to make sure that we're adding additional users such as myself and uh, I am SEM to make sure that they can manage the accounts. So here I am logging into Google Analytics for one of the clients, Uber Cash Systems. I'm trying to log in. What's going on here? Sometimes things don't move as fast as you'd like. It's coming. Okay, here I am inside a client uh, Google Analytics so I'm gonna go into admin and I'm gonna do a couple of things first I'm gonna grab the tracking code tracking code here and I'm gonna go put that into base into Teamworks if you've seen any of the other videos you see that this is a very important step uh, and this one I'm gonna pause you for one second here I am in the notebook for the client uber cash systems um, this is an internal project, and that's why it doesn't have its own its own project. I'm going to create one here later. Um, but here I'm going to put Google Analytics code. Boom. Oh, we need to put and. Okay, so that's the Google Analytics code there. And if I was going to go ahead and put it into lead pages which in this case I'm not because I'm gonna create another video on creating, on using and creating the Google Tag Manager, uh, which is what we're gonna create for, we do, we create a lot of times for our clients, but let me finish taking us through the steps. Here I'm gonna log into lead pages. Wow, the internet seems to got happy all of a sudden. I'll take it, take a little speed. All right, now where the heck is my Uber? We really have to get these guys to have a search bar. Because when you have as many landing pages, here we are. Okay. So, in these pages here, we have to, let me see. Go into edit, and we're going to go into the page options, and you'll see the place where we put all the tracking codes. Now, right now we're talking about Google Analytics, but in another video, I'm going to set up Google Tag Manager because for uh, we use Tag Manager when there's more than one tag, more one or more tracking code that we're using. Oh, and it looks like we've oh no, this is IM's tr uh, tracking code here. This way. We had copied it from another one. But boom, that's where you would put tag manager. Or you see you can have put tracking codes head tag head tag or and a body tag. Where do you put it? Always look and read the directions. It'll tell us where they want it. This is the your best benefit. Copy and paste this web uh, every web page you want to track. Okay. Um, it didn't tell us where. So I usually put analytics. It, or I, I usually put Google Tag Manager is in that slot that I just showed you, the end of body tra uh, tag tracking code. So I am going to end this video on generating Google Analytics. Oh, let's do one more thing we forgot to do. It was very important is to make sure that we have assigned the appropriate users to this site. This is the client, but where are we as the as the managers, right? So we're going to add. Raphael at Alta's web design, which is my a, a Google Analytics ID. And we're going to also add, this is very important, SEM. SEM is our master account. SEM at interactivemarketing.net is our master account for analytics and all that stuff. That way um, you have access for it there as well. Okay, thank you very much.